Whoa, what is up y'all? It's the car vlog. <laughs> it's uh, the working artist vlog as you know and um, this is Marshall Lee of DonkeyJawProjects.com and <clears throat> um, it's lunch time at my uh, at the uh, side hustle <laughs> um, and uh, you know I just thought I'd come in and chat with you guys a little bit um, been working on things uh, things have finally been calming down as far as like moving and getting everything settled in the apartment and stuff so I'm really happy um, we even put up some some um, of the art on the walls that we had in the last place which I'm really happy about you know like um, the life and space cover and, and things like that um, and my my uh, what is it the the lizard brain cover which you guys should go to my uh website donkeyjawprojects.com and check it out that's one of um a comic i did a few years ago and hey it's a fun little monster story creature feature type of thing and uh yeah it's there for everybody to read and enjoy um and let's see what else what else what else what else what else what else um actually that one i can't remember if that one's a, behind the um, email thing or not but um you know anyways <clears throat> so last time I got on here I was talking I did like a live stream sorry it kind of came out crappy I haven't been doing a ton of videos lately um because I've been trying to catch up and get to a better place or whatever um with just kind of settling in um, but like I said, things are kind of in that place now, um, as much as they're gonna, I mean, it always, things always go, cra get crazy in life and, and obstacles come and hurdles come and all that fun stuff. But, um, you know, I was a little ranty on the last video and, um, you know, I still feel those things. Those are like kind of, I was getting things off of my chest that are always there kind of but it felt more intense last week when I was talking about it um you know because I hadn't had a lot of time to really spend on making comics and stuff as much as I'd like um since then I've been doing a little bit better I wanted to try to I was talking about the Todd McFarlane interview thing and um one thing he said was like make a page a day you know um and you know unfortunately I wish that I could you know but that's not realistic yet um I hope one day it will be uh where I can make at least a page a day um but that being said um I have done some thinking some praying some um talking with uh people I, I talked to my buddy Fuey Storm as you guys know uh, he has an awesome YouTube channel um, go check it out it's uh, it's it's just really cool he's got so much good writing advice and stuff um, but I was talking to him and stuff about glyph because he he and I were working on the glyph story um, together and I, he was kind of writing a script and stuff um, and, you know, I just wanted to get a sense of where he was at with things and stuff. And, um, you know, we went back and forth. We're still kind of going back and forth a little bit. But, um, you know, we kind of came to the conclusion that it's not the right time for, for Fuey, you know, to be finishing up a script or whatever. And he may or may not. He, he I might just use the outline that he's given me um, for part of it. But whatever happens, I'm pretty sure what we worked on together and what he mostly was working on um i'm pretty sure that that's going to be like a story within you know the whole ongoing series of glyph or maybe its own like little you know outside bonus like graphic novel story or something i don't know we'll see but through talking to him um i realized some problems with glyph um and that was that Glyph is kind of a super here, like a super, uh, like Superman. It's got, he's got kind of the Superman problem where his powers are that he, um, whatever he, he 
do, like whatever art he does comes to life or whatever and um there's just a lot of things that make like where the world feels a little too big um to the point where because it seems like there you can do anything with glyph and there's so many so little limitations that makes it harder to write the story um <clears throat> it's really hard to kind of trap put put glyph in a tough place because you know maybe he could draw a door and and that'll be a portal into the next room or something or you know i don't know like we didn't have an ex you know definitely come to a definite definition of how far his powers really can go um you know so if you there's certain things with with certain kind of powers like you know time travel and and teleportation and you know all these different things where it's like well if you have no limits then really there's no way anybody could ever put that person in a tough place and you know with superman um they uh they had to introduce later on into the story kryptonite that wasn't originally part of superman um but the fact that he could pretty much do anything as far as like strength and, and flying and and all kinds of different things like he was pretty much invincible um made it hard to write a story you know a, a character with no flaws is is tough and that's kind of why um marvel you know did so well originally was because they brought flawed characters into um comics you know flawed superheroes and and superheroes with like emotional issues and, and like family issues and that kind of thing and um you know this is the type of thing that i think is important to have in a story and i think that glyph is uh kind of fallen victim to that where it's like i can't figure out who he is because i've made him too awesome <laughs> in a in a certain weird way um so that being said you know i wasn't sure where how to move with him either like even his powers like sometimes i'm at a loss because he can do almost anything so what do i do with his powers you know and it, it's just weird it's it's a little bit weird with glyph but that being said um i'm pretty excited i'm really excited with glyph moving forward um I have come to some ideas and, and again, with talking with Fue, he kind of brought up one idea that I thought was absolutely brilliant. Um, and at first I, I wasn't sure he was, even he was like, I'm just going to throw this at the wall. Maybe this is a possible way you could go about it. Um, but it might be a bad idea. You know, it's hard to say it's kind of, I'm, he wasn't even sure if he liked it or not, but he threw it at me and I was like, you know what? I don't know really either. But as I thought throughout that day, like I kept thinking about it and I could, it wouldn't leave my mind this idea. Um, and I was like, this actually is something that makes Glyph's whole story make so much more sense. Um, and where I can bring in some flaws and things that, that make it hard for him even to use his powers. Um, maybe almost like a spawn type of thing. Um, where you know and i think they threw this out a long time ago with spawn which makes spawn less interesting to me but i don't know um but i don't i don't know i don't know where the story of spawn ended up going and and it seems like it went in all kinds of weird directions that isn't every time i try to re-look at it i feel like i'm not that interested anymore um which sucks because i thought spawn was a really cool character at first um and maybe he still is, and I just need to give it a better shot, but, you know, it costs money to buy comics. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I have to be picky and choosy is the point. Um, love Todd McFarlane, though. He's a hero of mine for sure, you know, a, a comic book hero. And as a businessman, as an artist, and as um, an entrepreneur, as, you know, all kinds of things. <laughs> Um, he's very motivational when you watch his videos too. So that's really cool. Um, so anyways, Glyph now has kind of a background, I think that makes more sense than some of the other stuff I was coming. I've kind of recreated Glyph's world like four or five times, but you know, this is how this, I think year is going to go now. Like, um, I feel like it's important for me to start. This is another thing that Todd McFarlane said that I'm really vibing on, um, is he said, 
one thing you got to do when you're first starting as a creator is you have to cr put together a body of work. It can't just be like you worked on one little issue here, one issue there, like you did this, you did that. You kind of, you know, this is what I've been doing. You got to build up a body of work of like 15. He said 15 books. I think he just pulled that number out of the air. But, you know, do like 15 or so books of, of one character and then people will know you for that, you know, and, and then see where you want to go from there if you want to continue with that character or whatever you want to do um and so i thought that really resonates with me because i do believe that that's true so um you know i don't know i want to um move forward with glyph because i think out of all the comic ideas i have glyph is the thing that i feel like makes sense for me to kind of be my like flagship title um the thing that people kind of know me for and then i can branch off into other stories too um so glyph is really important to me and it feels like something that could easily be an ongoing series you know it doesn't feel like it has to be you know one and done that being said the ideas i've come up with for glyph i actually know the end now like I know what the end of Glyph is, and I, I plan on, like, writing it, like, literally writing that last issue or, or last storyline, or at least outlining the last storyline, so I have a real good idea of what the end is, so when I come at you guys with, like, the first comic book, I will ha be able to, you know, or the first series, or all, the whole story, I could have, like, little things where I foreshadow things that are coming, and it's just really interesting and and it and and what i have planned it gives me the ability to do almost anything i want with glyph like i could bring him into different kind of stories and change things and and you will think it's like out of continuity but it actually isn't and stuff um so i don't know it's just really really fun idea that i think normally i would be like i don't like that idea but as I thought about it, I'm like, this is opening it up to like, I could do anything with this and, and I could have just have a blast with it. And I have like all these themes that I feel like are coming forth. And there was a time where I, there's been times where I've been like, well, what, how can I inject like my faith into some of this stuff too? And it always never felt natural. It felt like I was trying to be preachy or something and I didn't want to be preachy. I just wanted to have themes of my faith in there which basically are, are themes that people would put in movies anyways a lot of them um you know whether they have faith or not these are themes you know human themes that that we all think about and talk about and, and um you know they're, they're part of life so just th like you would find these same themes in like harry potter or lord of the rings or you know um I don't know, even something like, who knows, uh, Twilight or something. I don't know. <laughs> like any, any story. I don't know why I'm thinking of Twilight. Every time I think of, uh, a lot of times when I think of Harry Potter, I think of Twilight because I was reading both of those books at the same time, kind of. So, <laughs> um, anyways, I know a lot of people hate like Twilight and stuff. And I think glittery vampires are cheesy too, but at the same time, you know, whatever, <laughs> it's all right with me, um, so the plan is, I got two projects going on right now, um, Big Wrath, and another one that I can't speak of, um, yet, <clears throat> and one of them is just kind of helping somebody out, and the other one is the project with me and Peter Palmiotti, um, and that is what I'm actively working on right now, actually, in front of me, I have, uh, the iPad and stuff, and I'm working on, um, designs for Icarus, um, and, you know, so that's, I'm really excited about that story, too, like, super excited, I can't wait to bring you guys that story, and see what you think, there's stuff that Peter and I put together that I just think it's gonna have a really cool impact, this first issue, and I'm excited to see, um, how, to, how we can make it all happen and stuff really into this. Um, but once I'm done with the pencils, I can kind of, you know, start working on glyph because, uh, the pencils, uh, that's kind of what the plan is for me to do the pencils, Peter to do the inks, and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, 
So I'm excited about Big Wrath, and, and I'm doing basically the writing, um, the designing, and the pencils for Big Wrath, which is a huge amount of work. And I'm trying to <clears throat> get through some of this design work so I can move forward, but uh, it has to be done before I can move forward, unfortunately. And it takes a lot of time, and I, you know, so it's, it's a little frustrating. But at the same time, I've been playing around with Glyph throughout all of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, I'm kind of going to be doing some design work and writing and, and things like that, preparing for Glyph. Um, who knows, maybe I'll even get into some um, pencils and laying out of pages or whatever. Like, I might be working on Glyph as I go. Um, but eventually, it's going to be all Glyph for a while, um, I think, you know. And then I also might do, like, some little mini comic things here or there, you know, as I go. There's a few ideas that I have more geared towards the the um the youtube channel you know um things that i can do somewhat quickly um so we'll see how that all all works out but you know glyph is going to be the um kind of flagship title and i'm really excited for that um uh i just i, I really love what's kind of going down with that and i feel like i have a direction i feel like i'm able to bring in some heart and soul to glyph that i wasn't able to get on, get into before i had a hard time um i've also been listening to a lot of old like kind of instrumental hip-hop stuff um there's there's uh kind of really kind of, sort of obscure stuff um that was always kind of in the underground of hip-hop and in the 90s in the 2000s you know this stuff was pretty active and it's stuff that people don't necessarily hear about if you've ever heard of like um aesop rock or uh company flow lp um dj shadow uh and even late you know more recently rjd2 these kind of people um they are like really kind of under uh, un um cannibal ox um they're all they're kind of this a lot of different like underground stuff from kind of 90s 2000s area um and they just they're really they push the boundaries especially with instrumentals and stuff and, and with the lyrics and stuff too um it's not your typical hip-hop but at the same time it's rooted in boom bap um which to me is like your foundational like hip-hop like krs1 like you know it's rooted in the basic like awesome east coast hip-hop that i love and grew up on um but you know it, it it goes into very various places so anyways the point is is there's this album dj by dj shadow his first album called end it's like introducing but the word end in front so it's called end introducing so if you ever want to hear what kind of i hear in my head um for glyph's soundtrack check that album out i'll see if i can put a link in the description for the youtube song the songs on youtube um but you know there's that and and just like a lot of instrumentals from lp he's like a big producer with a lot of the other names i i talked about um and other things um things like portis head or tricky um from massive attack uh in mass some massive attack stuff too like anything within that kind of trip hop i i think it's called trip hop i don't i don't know what but like stuff over in the uk um and even kind of bordering into like some dubstep -y type things too a little bit here and there but um that kind of music to me is like glyph that's kind of where when i hear that i'm like i could imagine an awesome animated movie or show or something where the action sequences or like different sequences have some of this music in the background it's kind of a lot of it can be kind of cinematic and stuff um and it just goes into different places where typical hip-hop doesn't always go um and i think it's it would be a really cool backdrop for glyph some of it's a little hardcore and serious more than like i, I also want to think of some cool music that goes with glyph that's more um upbeat and happy because there's definitely, you know, there's a dark side, but there's also, like, a, kind of a fun, a very fun side of Glyph, too. Um, so, anyways, there's that. Um, I did a drawing the other day. Uh, one of the prompts in the Discord was to um, 
draw a hooded figure so i'm like well pfft, glyph you know i first draw this woman um kind of fighting lady type chick or mag ma magician type of girl um in a hood and i thought that came out really cool and then i kept playing around for a little bit and i was enjoying you know I, I was like well let's play around with glyph a little bit so i kind of did that and then i even put some colors on it and i really enjoyed it you'll see it because i'm going to use it for the thumbnail of this video but um you know i don't know i had a lot of fun doing that um so i'm really excited about glyph so that's that's where we're going man um I, i'm really excited i hope you guys dig it too um and i have a few more minutes left on break i'm going to try to get to work here uh with some of this uh icarus stuff i'm trying to design a head for um icarus from big wrath like a her ninja face type thing um and you guys might have seen i put it out on um social media like the different designs uh for icarus uh so you know if a lot of people gave me a lot of great feedback so i'm really happy about that and and i'm kind of working to further that design the the three main kind of characters i need to design um to get going on the big wrath project and also there's some ancillary characters that are important villains and stuff that i need to design so i don't know those those design processes might take less long but like these three main characters are really important in the story overall. So I need to make sure I get their designs down good. Um, so other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. You know where to find me, donkeyjawprojects.com. And I'll talk to you on the next vlog. Peace out.